The Arteria Matrix Brute has got to be by far one of the greatest Mara synths of all time. It is incredibly underrated, as often not incredibly explored. Um, this thing is basically an art installation on an auditory level. And I'm really looking forward to hearing more people exploring with this device because it's incredibly unexplored and the examples or demos that a lot of folks have been putting out there I don't think are the best and I'm not saying that mine are the best either but um, it would be nice to hear a lot more creative um, really good sounding examples pe uh, coming from this device because I think it's it's going to be um, basically 20 years from now considered one of the one of the most overlooked synthesizers of all time. Um, so that's really good news for everybody currently on the used market. You can get these things for, someone said, uh, the equivalent of $1,200 uh, they got theirs for in Canadian money. And I've seen them go um, about 1400 ish uh, at the lowest on the used market. They are well worth the two grand. Um, they are they're even worth 2500 I'd, I'd, I'd say easily. Well, you know, there's the Polybrute coming out, and everybody's extremely excited about that. Um, I, th I think it's great. Polyphony does have some physical features the Brute doesn't. But something that people are noticing about the uh, Polybrute is that it seems to lack some character. Uh, naturally out of the box and I would have to agree with that now when people say that they're not saying oh it's not a good synthesizer it definitely is um, but when people say character they're talking about that cord filter they're talking about those uh, those filters you find on uh, uh, um, DSI instruments um, Moog in Moog filters they're talking about that that sound that thing that that synthesizer has, that defines it, that says, hey, this is a classic. I do believe that the Polyroot has a lot of things going for it, and I think with the firmware updates, um, it could become even doper. Take for the uh, Matrix Brute, for instance, um, it had tuning issues due to the initial firmware that came with the device, and that was a huge reason that turned me off from it. Um, so I was like, not even considering it. Um, if you're gonna have your tuning shifting on you, without you know any sign of predictability for any reason. What's the reason to get that thing? That would be a very difficult instrument. <laughs> but um, 
uh, another firmware update came out for the Brute, and I didn't find out for years later, and it turns out, wow, tuning is incredibly stable. So, that it's a non-issue due to firmware. So I think with firmware updates from Polybrut, it could get incredibly exciting, um, and it may develop a character sound. Um, but in the meantime, I think that the Matrix Brute should not be overlooked. I think that people need to spend some serious time with it. And I want to see more people um, other than you, Synthman, and Chris Lennox creating some incredible uh, deep sounding patches that just convince people, hey, I need this thing. Because I'm telling you, if you find this thing on the use market and you get it for 12 to 1400 bucks, you kind you kind of robbed a bank, um, so I can't recommend this synth enough. And if you like any of the sound samples here, with or without uh, effects on board, uh, naturally from the brute. Um, though I would say, as you can tell from these samples, putting some effects on it definitely gives it a whole different character. For instance, when I threw the uh, Zoom G3X in digital guitar pedal on this thing, it was making some Roland System 8 sounds um, that it wouldn't otherwise have made. So pedals do play a big part in our synthesis, um, but you know, our expectation is the, the, the thing should sound amazing out of the box, and for the most part I agree, and this thing does. Um, which kind of leads me to another subject. The, um, it might sound sort of contradictory, but I don't mean it to. I do appreciate the analog effects on this analog instrument. It's just like, as they say in black metal, it's true. That's, uh, it's so true fucking cult um, that you just can't deny it. But it, at times it almost seems as if the effects are non-existent, but that's okay. You know, there are people who have been collecting musical equipment for years. They haven't just gone into synthesis and they have about 20 pedals or maybe a good four or five just sitting around or maybe just two incredibly instrumental ones. And you hook that thing up to one of these or any other synthesizer and it's going to do some um, incredibly char character defining stuff. Um, so as I said, I didn't mean to contradict myself here um, in regard to the polybrew. I believe that uh, uh, what people are referring to is that it lacks character out of the box, <clears throat> whereas the Matrix Brute lacks um, in an incredible onboard effects system out of the box. Most of the effects that I'm generating happen to be from the, uh, the Brute knobs, the overdrive, um, and um, basically the a ASDR, the envelopes themselves. And that, to me, is stock. It's just fascinating and comprehensive enough. So thank you for listening all the way through, and hope you enjoyed these sounds.